everybody welcome back to my kitchen y'all we are on a roll this week you guys have really gotten me out of my box and even some of these recipes kind of like out of my comfort zone and having said that speaking of which today we're gonna do this chess pie is that what this is an old-fashioned chess pie you guys this is another one that's been requested um, I've never ever had chess pie so of course I've never ever made chess pie but it seems to be a very easy peasy recipe we certainly hope that it is also good so we're gonna try this today we're not using a mixer we're gonna do this by hand um, I'm sure my dude number one has probably not had chess pie either so let's let's go on and start praying for his reaction and how he's gonna take to having to taste this chess pie okay so this is what I'm using I've kind of tweaked a little bit um, okay and I'm looking at my notes so I won't forget anything all right we're using one stick of unsalted butter not margarine but butter you guys and I'm gonna need to have this it's already softened but I want to melt it a little bit so I can um, it'll be easy to mix it because you guys I'm not using a mixer at all today we're gonna do this we're gonna do this by hand and it's gonna be easy peasy so while I'm talking I was saying all that to say I wanted to pop this in the microwave for just um, a couple of seconds because I don't want it hot, okay? So we'll start with that. 15 seconds right now. Okay, while I'm talking. Girl, microwave back crazy. That's a minute, but we're going to stop it in just a couple of seconds. Y'all don't let me forget. Don't let me get to run up and not forget to stop that. Okay. One stick of unsalted butter. We're using two cups of sugar. <laughs> Let's see. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna do just a dash of salt. I just feel like I need that salt with that sugar, just a dash. We have four large eggs here and they have already been cracked as you can see for large eggs we're going to use one tablespoon of cornmeal you guys and this is it's white cornmeal okay one tablespoon of cornmeal what else one fourth cup of evaporated milk you guys don't get this confused with the sweet and condensed this is evaporated milk of course I have thoroughly cleaned off the top of this can before using it y'all wash off the tops of those cans because they are extremely extremely nasty and dirty just like your hands if you don't wash them y'all make sure you wash your hands don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. I have already washed mine, okay? Make sure you do the same. All right. Let's see. One tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. Yeah, it's about to be real interesting. But I've read when I was kind of reading up on the pie a little bit, you're not going to taste the vinegar, so don't. You're not. Oh, yeah, I just knocked over my milk. I just knocked over my milk. And y'all, I'm going to leave that in here. I'm just going to pour me some more, okay? So that one teaspoon, no, one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. You stay right where you are. Let's get a little bit more milk. One fourth cup of milk, okay? All right, now I'm going to show you how quick it is to mix this up. So I'm going to bring you over here to me, um, closer to me, right after I clean up my mess. Oh, and I did forget to mention that I will be using a deep dish, this nine inch 
pie crust. And I've just taken it out of the freezer. And you guys, my oven is preheating. I like to start on a high temperature because I don't cover up the sides of my use the little foil tents around my um, pie shells. I like to start on a high temperature to ensure that my crust gets done. So I'll start on 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to turn the oven down to 300 degrees and we will bake for at least another 40, 45 minutes. Okay. All right. Now I think I'm ready to this butter. And now I think I'm ready to bring you guys over here close to me and we're going to get this mixed up real quick and get it in the oven. You all, I forgot to mention that I will also be using two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, okay, in addition to the one tablespoon of this buttermilk cornmeal, okay. So don't forget that part. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. All right, now let's see how quick we can get this mixed up. I've taken my butter out. You guys, make sure that if you put it in the microwave to melt it, that it is totally cooled again before you start adding your ingredients. We're going to be using some eggs. We do not want to scramble our eggs and hot butter, okay? All right, so we're going to start by adding our two cups of white sugar to this butter. Just want to get this kind of moistened. Okay, we're going to add our one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Yep, that's probably a little more. Our dash of salt. I'm going to do just a little pinch of salt. Just kind of get it mixed up just a little bit. And you guys, by all means, if you want to pull out your mixer, you can do that. Your hand mixer, your stand mixer, either or. But I really wanted this to be easy peasy, so I didn't want to fool with my mixers today. I just want to mix up these eggs just a little bit before I add them. Four eggs. thick. Okay. And to the four eggs I have my one tablespoon of cornmeal and two tablespoons of my flour. Slinging flour and cornmeal everywhere. I'm going to put in this one fourth cup of evaporated milk. Just going to make sure that we have this mixed up really good. And then, last but not least, our vinegar, this white distilled vinegar, not apple cider. 
we're going to add our one tablespoon of vinegar. this up in less than five minutes. I think it took longer to get the ingredients together than it did to get it mixed up. And y'all, I don't know why I feel like I would love to have a, just a little hint of nutmeg in this. Oh, Now, I know chest pies, you don't usually put spices, but y'all know I always say, make it your own. Do what you want to do. Some people add coconut. Some people add pecans. But I'm not. I'm will leave the nutmeg alone right now. But I declare, I just feel like I look want just a hint of nutmeg. So y'all, if this is not easy peasy, we have mixed this up in less than five minutes, you guys. Less than five minutes. Mm. Interesting. Let's see. It's going to be sweet. And for those of you who want to say something because I licked my finger, uh, I did. Joe did. How about that? Some of y'all so, uh, some of y'all just be looking for something to say about something. Bless your hearts. Okay, we're going in. Uh, 425 degrees and y'all I didn't put that on the baking sheet I didn't I'm not used to doing that either so I just put it in the oven okay 425 let me set this timer honey 10 minutes and then we'll turn it down okay and cook it at least another 40 45 we're going to turn it down to 300 degrees I turned the oven down. We did cook for another 40 minutes. So cook. sense than to show you exactly what happened. All oh, because I'm trying to show y'all let y'all see everything I'm doing and how everything look. <laughs> so now that I've cleaned up my mess take two. <laughs> or shall I say pie two. Going in the oven. Oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all see the one that took a dive sitting up here on the counter? Y'all see it? I ain't gonna tell you what it sounded like to me when that pie was deciding it wanted to, to hit the flow. Okay. Here we go again.
Huh. So I just showed her a clip of what happened and she's tickled. Huh. I didn't expect it to throw up on you. I thought I was going to slide it off. <laughs> and that's exactly what it sounded like. It sounded like somebody just, just barked in the floor. <laughs> Turn the camera on. I stayed calm, y'all. I just woo side and I cleaned up all my mess. It was splashed all on the side of the cabinet. And then well. I you can't even tell that your pot threw up on you. And this candle back here want to make all this noise like it's, it's about to blow up. Okay, y'all. So listen. Oh, gee. Don't be laughing. It ain't funny. Oh, Those of laughing. you who wanted a, a dog on chest oh, pie. Laughing. <laughs> Listen. When's Thanksgiving? Come on, Thanksgiving, so I can be done with this. That done brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> we just came out. That's all y'all gonna see right now. And I'm gonna put him over here with his little, his little broke down friend. There it is. Mm-hmm. Him. And we gonna let him sit there and cool. Um, might let him cool till tomorrow. <laughs> Girl. Lisa, uh-huh. What's that little thing to be saying hours later? <laughs> Be just look. Oh yeah, I'm here and put some. Um, uh, Did you get all out the camera? Yeah. I'm here and put some powdered sugar on top of it, y'all. Hey, listen, people. What? Hey, everybody. Look, I'm not like a pie person. So, here we go, here we go, y'all. No, I'm not like a pie person. So when things new to me, I proceed with caution. But all my friends loved the pecan pie. They loved it. It was just, I never had a pecan pie. We, we didn't have a pecan tree near us. You didn't have to have no pecan tree. Well, where y'all get the pecans from? From the store. See now, there you go again, bragging about the money y'all had. Just, just so, so my, okay. what, what are you eating in this? This is a chest pie. A what? A chest pie. Y'all know one thing about cutting pies. The first piece be like ugly. You know, you be trying to, you be trying to get it out. That's the name of it for real, a chest pie. Uh huh. Where my where my pie cutter thing? I, look, I was using the ice and the um. Yeah, I'm sorry. You got a back pie? Where my where my pie thing that I was using to ice and the cake with? Well, somebody check oh, here. Here it is, y'all. The dishwasher. Let's see, y'all. And then when you cut it, it's gonna crack, make the um. What you call that? The, the crust gonna crack all up. I don't want my crust to crack. I want it to stay pretty. Y'all know this first piece trying to get it out gonna be ugly. Oh, let's see if I can bend this down. Let me help you. <laughs> this, this dog gonna cry. It's just gonna make that ugly. Lord. Who eats a pretty pie anyway? It's supposed to be pretty. Y'all, I can't get the piece out pretty. Are you sitting there laughing? I couldn't get the piece out pretty. I'm going to show y'all the pie though. Let y'all see the inside. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay. Look, 
Y'all see how my piece came out. Y'all know that first piece is hard to get out. This is the paddle, y'all. With the little, um, and then when I got ready to cut it, it just cracks it all up. So that's y'all's chest pie. Now this is new for both of us. Wait a minute, let's, let's get like <laughs> You make them making faces. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I taste, you I taste the it. crust. You it taste like crust. It tastes like all the other crusts. What is that you eat? Mm. I almost dropped it. <laughs> what is this? What are you eating? It's a chest pie. It has sugar. Okay. Butter, flour, cornmeal, eggs. Just a tablespoon of cornmeal. Taste it. Oh, you doing good today. Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? It's, um, it's no, it dissolves in your mouth. It's almost like it's dissolving different. in your mouth. I'm good. It dissolves in your mouth. I'm going to tell you what I did, y'all. It really dissolves in your mouth. Since it, um... It's like the a crust, graham cracker crust. It makes... It made its own crust on top. Look, y'all. What made it? I added... Since I had to fix it again... Why you had to fix it I again? added... You know why I had to fix it again. Be quiet. He thought that was funny, too. And then went to work telling everybody. But... I went ahead and added me one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Do you taste that hint of nutmeg? I don't yep. care if you're not supposed to add. That's what I wanted to add. Since my pie hit the floor, I it's said I might have done. That's want right. To. It's your pie and your I like it with the nutmeg because I was able to taste both of them. You know, what was left in the pie that hit the floor. It just on the floor. <laughs> It's like a cotton candy pie. It dissolves in your mouth. It's good. I mean, it's just like it, it's. Y'all, this here pie. There's no. No what? Oh, we gotta get some in, baby. There's no what? I mean, it's it's and it's set up good too, y'all. There's no um. Mhm. Mm okay, move forward a little bit. There's no I mean, weight to good. it. I mean, like on the inside, like, you know, yeah, it's like, like a bunch of fluff. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's almost like a cotton candy. It just dissolves in your mouth. Interesting. That's yeah. it's it's interesting, y'all. It's like a it's like a cotton candy. It just dissolves in your mouth. Like if you're eating a sweet potato pie or apple pie, there's the filling is really heavy. Yeah. But this one is just like it just holy for a square man. It just dissolves. <clears throat> I know. Get my spoon. It's interesting. That's for sure. It's just like, cause, cause again, guys, I'm some upset. new, some new for us. We have never ever, but it tastes not, but it tastes good. It's good. Does it have a good taste. No, it's really good. It I, does. It, it has some, a good taste. Some, is there any lemon in here? No, vinegar. Vinegar. That's vinegar crazy. and a lemon sound like. Tastes I don't good. know, but I forgot to mention that when you said what was in the pie, you made me think about it. When you said any lemon, cause some people do make it with lemon. But does it taste like lemon? No, I think it just looked like lemon. It does look like yeah, lemon. I don't, I don't taste any lemon. Did I get a thumbnail? I don't think I did, y'all. No Listen. Way. It's probably growing. It's probably growing. I, I, <laughs> I eat this. Yes, I will. And you couldn't help but when you slice it, it just breaks up the top. But it makes that little crispy. Um, How do you get a cotton candy pie? <laughs> Candy. But no, it's just like it's a just dissolve. So light and fluffy. Yeah, so it is. It's, 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 it's no weight to it at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That can be for a person. It's good though, y'all. You, you, you ain't gonna have that custard look. It's different, that's for sure. Why you take the crust off? It's like a graham cracker. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's enough of that. Well, y'all, I survived. I hope y'all got a good laugh for all of y'all that went up. I know some of y'all were like, oh. I probably jumped out like, hey! I, 
it came out like a like a volcano just and it was so funny because when I slowed it down and I I couldn't see how the crust had started opening and it had started coming out I guess just a delay reaction I am thankful that I that I did not get burned I am but anywho so for those of you that thought that was just hilarious, I'm, well, I'm glad I was able to give you a lap. Donnie's was tickled. This has some uh, some very interesting flavors. Uh -huh. to it. Well, you're probably tasting a little bit of that. That's almost like, because I added just that hint of nutmeg, like I said, because I wanted to. Um, it's like it could be the... It's funny because um, I'm talking to your brothers and here just instead eating. Instead of eating it. Y'all done ate the whole pie. They know how you do. But y'all, thank y'all. But for, for those of y'all that, you know, just bust out laughing when it happened. <laughs> I didn't have to show you, but y'all know me. I ain't had, like I said, I ain't had no more better sense than to show you. Then I had to clean all that stuff up. And y'all know when it hit the floor, it just splattered and just. You said, look at my thumbnail. I said, hey. <laughs> it, it wasn't a thumbnail. Whenever I take hey, something buddy. out the oven, I always show it to them. And this pie has to sit. For I mean, it's been sitting for hours and it has to set. But of course, it was still it hadn't set. When I took it out, it hadn't set, and I just didn't think about that. I was trying to tilt it to make sure y'all. You sure ain't no lemon in here? Baby, there's not. There's not any lemon in there. But some people do it with lemon. Oh, there's lemon in there. Yeah, there's lemon in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lemon in there. Yeah, there's lemon in there. Yeah, there's well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This little simple pie kicked my tail. The <laughs> simple pie took it to you. Girl. It took it to me. It took it to me, but that's all right. I, mean, I ain't gonna be defeated by no old stinking pie. That's right, girl. You no chest pie. The pasta is shake something. <laughs> Just shake something. <laughs> That's what the pasta is. Anywho, so if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Turn on that notification bell. Hit the nosy. That way. That's the notification bell. And it shakes. And then that way you'll be notified whenever I'm over here, you know, just sliding, pie the floor, and whatever it is we're doing, y'all. All right, y'all. We on the home stretch to Thanksgiving. Okie dokie. All right. Well, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. We already look forward to you this joining to me, us again. Next time, it's going to work with you tomorrow, baby. Next time, bye. This is the most interesting. Hey, tell everybody bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. bye, everybody. Bye, this is this is very interesting. I mean, yeah, there's a taste to it. It's gotta be some lemon in it. It's not lemon in it, babe. Vinegar don't taste like lemon, babe. I don't okay, taste vinegar, okay. you babe. Okay. Yeah, it's the. Why are you like this? That's how it looks when you drink vinegar. Why?